welcome back to Angry Designs. I'm James. Let's get started. So, what are we making today? We are going to have a crack at making a camera slider, a camera roller. And I'm going to call this probably part one, uh, because to start off with, this is going to be a manual slider. And what I mean by that is there's no... Uh, mechanical way of sliding the unit over itself so what we're going to do is I have these here and these are what is called bow rollers so when you look at the front of a boat you'll see these uh, typically encased in a stainless steel housing and the chain slides down these um, for when you're launching an anchor so we have those and we are having a set of two rolls two tubes that's going to um, go on top of these bow rollers here and it's going to be like a train track that we're going to make uh, for the rolls I have been to my local hardware place you can probably guess because I nicked a load of pencils as well. And these are 40 mil uh, solvent waste pipe. So three mil, uh, three mil thick, uh, the pipe is, and it's gonna be about 1.2 meters in length. We need a little bit um, to have these connections here. So whatever width these are gonna be is how width our track and train is gonna be parts that we have here today are found pretty easily. I think the hardest thing is probably these bow rollers, um, but they are on the internet uh, under bow rollers, um, anchor slides, that sort of thing. Um, and it's quite fitting that, uh, you know, we, we use components like this. Um, they're nice, cheap, easy to get, difficult to manufacture, not one, but to manufacture four very equally and the same um, for, you know, probably someone who's more into photography and not the usual clientele is quite difficult. So I'm not 100% sure on how these balls are gonna work, um, but I have got a lathe. I can put some uh, ball, by, uh, ball bearings in there if I wanted to, um, but we're gonna see what it's like first. So um, This is the pipe that we've got here, and this comes in a standard length of three meters. So we're gonna cut this up into two parts, leaving a small amount at the top to be able to put the two 90 degree connectors together. Being that it's only plastic pipe, you can use a multiple uh, different ways of how to cut it. Um, I have these that I could use, um, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna use a um, just a wood saw just to cut these down to size. So that's our two pieces cut. So don't have to be even, they're not straight cut. And I've just gone around and deburred them. So we're going to push one side in. Push the other one in. Push the other one in. So now we've got two, two train tracks for the slider. We've now got these two pieces cut, they're nice and even, and we're gonna make the uh, final pieces. So with the bit that we have remaining, we're gonna cut that in half and connect up these two to form the tracks. So now we've made the track, we need to uh, get to work on the train. So we need to devise some sort of system that's going to go onto here, 
like so. We need to make sure that this is flat. And we can do that with a, with a few ways. Uh, we can put two bolts through this side if we wanted to. Um, at the minute, I quite like it that it can be broken apart. Um, it's nice and easy. So let's get to work on the track as well, on the top. And ideally we want these quite close together to keep it compact and give us as much track as we wanted to. Concern that I've got at the moment is that for whatever reason the train might come off the rails um, but we can put something underneath that's going to follow these, follow these along. You can buy more of these and have like a double track so you can build exactly the same one as this and put that one on top but I think it's a bit overkill. So next up we're going to make the axles. Now you can do this a few ways. Um, you can use a plumbing fitting. So the ones that I have are 8mm and the, what I want to use I think is threaded bar. The reason for this is there's not going to be a lot of weight onto here. Um, so I'm not going to run the risk that this is going to damage the bore. It's going to be easy to put something on the top and make the carriage. And I think all in all, it's just going to work, you know, nice and easy. I, I could machine some brass and, and put it across, but it's it's meant to be an easy skate and we need to make this as easy as possible for people. So um, you can make it out of wood and put side, side pieces down either side here uh, and then just nut and bolt it uh, through together if you wanted. You could dowel it, um, but I want this to... to be available to the everyday man so I don't want to go too over complicated with this um, so I'm going to use some M10 threaded bar, a few nuts, a few washers and pack these full of silicon grease or silicon oil something like that um, just to make it nice and easy So I've got all of these now drilled out to uh, an ID, uh, an internal diameter uh, for 10 millimeters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, what's called break the edge. So this is a countersink bit that I've got here. It might be a little bit too small. Yeah, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use a slightly larger one. And all that's going to do is whenever you drill something, especially like plastic, you can leave a little bit of a hard edge. I'm just going to put the uh, countersink bit in there. drilled out now and countersunk at the ends and we're just going to grab the 10 mil threaded bar and see what the fit up is like yeah that's going to be that's going to work well Imagine this is going to roll down on here nice and easy. For our axles, we're going to have this at 200 mil. Uh, it's a nice, easy round figure for now. It's a little bit longer, um, but for part two of this video, I might want to put some uh, pulleys on the side um, to make it um, to make it electric powered.
So I've just put the axles on here temporary just to um, have a fit up and have a little bit of a measure. Next off we're going to have to make the uh, top section where the camera is actually going to mount. Um, these are sliding really well. Um, they're not on straight at all at the moment but they do slide really really nicely. Um, I would use 18mm MDF or plywood, I haven't got any of that today so I am going to use some of this pine board that I've got um, that I'm making for some shelving and we're going to cut a piece off for a top and we're going to cut off a piece for the body section. This here I'm going to cut and we're going to nut and bolt through here one piece and then the other piece we're going to have two screws and then an area at the bottom where we can put a camera mount on. Next the question is going to be how wide and what's the distance apart are we going to want these um, our wheels to go. Um, I would like them as close as possible so we've got more track to go um, but I think about that sort of wide is going to be the best option for us. It's going to be the most stable. Um, so I think whatever length this board is, uh, which is 170 mil, we should probably do that distance between there and there. Remember we need to put enough material on this side here um, so we can actually have enough material for this to be supported either side. Just something to bear in mind have our three pieces cut so this was two lengths cut down split those in two and you're going to have uh, two of the same size pieces on here to go onto there like so and then from this piece we're going to drill two holes and we're going to put the axles into the middle flip that over And that's going to be our train. With wood as well you can do different things and I'm going to put on a, a quarter 20 for a mount to go on the top. I've also got some uh, steel loops that I'm going to have either side ready to have a motor pulley either side here. Um, and I probably might have enough room in the bottom uh, to put on something like that. Um, or I might put a steel plate onto the top here because I've got a Joby uh, magnetic camera uh, grip pod so I can put that on there and uh, let it do its thing. We'll see. If you're using pine like me my workshop is pretty damp uh, this time of year so I've got some bowing here um, that has slightly happened but it's, it's going to be okay um, and my saw job that I did wasn't quite perfect but that doesn't matter if you're using a length like this like me you're going to have one uh, planed edge and you can be able to use two of the pieces in the middle to line up with the centre hole just in there like that so what we're going to do now is we're going to put another two screws so we're going to drill a pilot hole here and here we're going to attach that onto there and then using a square we're going to measure from a point here and roughly a point there a bit of length to put our axles through so it's nice and square
okay we've got the wheels bolted on i've got some adjustments for tracking if that's what you want to call it uh to line up everything uh, but next off i need to do start to put some tests together so i have one of these really really cheap and cheerful bullhead uh cheap mounts and i have a gopro style mount that just bolts onto there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these legs off and i'm going to glue that into the middle just there Well, it's a little late now, uh, guys. I was hoping to do a bit of a, a time-lapse video of the sunset, um, but it's taken me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to do. So, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe, give me a like if you so please, and the next video will probably attach a motor onto this uh, for those really nice um, long time-lapse. So, I've got a little bit of tweaking that we need to do for next time. Uh, but all in all, I think we're 90% there, um, and then just about the motor. But it turned out really well, and for a budget of less than £20, not too bad. Thanks, guys. See you next time.